guys, what's up? I'm Jasper from Vietnam. Today I'm gonna tell you guys about how to land a job at Google. And the very first step of landing a job at Google is finding your job and apply your CV to get an interview first. So like, why don't we just start? Okay, cool. So to get a job at Google, at the first time you have to fight for your position and to find your position, you have to go to Google Career. Here. And you can find your job here. For myself, I start. I will search for software engineer. Here it is. And like uh, you guys should choose uh, where you wanna go. work for. For myself, like uh, I choose Singapore because I want to Singapore here, cool. So uh, you also can find the type of the position. For example, you can find a part-time job with Google, or maybe internship at Google, or like I find myself at full-time. So like I selected full-time and I apply for um, the position of software engineer for Project Tango because I have some experience in 3D field. And also, like I would love to make some augmented reality software, and Tango is the augmented reality like framework to develop for developer to implement the, another kind of application on mobile, especially for Android, because they haven't had any software and framework on iOS yet. So like uh, after that, uh, you should read for the responsibility and your uh, qualification to make sure that you meet all the qualification here. And uh, yeah, and after that, you should uh, here we have some application. Oh, uh, here the button here. You uh, submit apply for that, and after that, you. What you have to do is prepare your CV really, really well because you know a lot of candidates they submit uh, every single hour, and that's why like they so at Google the recruiter have like a lot of CV to what and what you have to do is make sure that your CV stand out, and to make sure of that like I would like to recommend you guys uh, using a site that I think is really cool for making CV is in novel resume here and uh, you know last time I just uh, use uh, work for for making my CV and it seemed like it's not really nice a lot of people they spend their time to uh, making make their CV using Photoshop but uh, yeah it's a uh, text long time I think and uh, why don't we just open a service for that and here is a noble resume service that I recommend you guys to use you know like uh, we have like a multi templates here that you guys can use to create your own CV and uh, like it's up to your experience that you can create your CV based on those templates for example we have standard modern classic here creative here and even professional here i like this one the most you know it's look fun status to me and yeah it's cool that you guys can uh, pick uh, those and then go ahead So like uh, I did uh, last time some uh, something really cool here. Like uh, you can uh, make your own title here. Uh, put your name here, here your first name, your last name, and then your information here. And for example, you can put some GitHub and Skype. That is LinkedIn. You have also have your own something like this, like a Ho Chi Minh City country, Vietnam. Yeah, it's my name is Sun. Yeah, Sun Ying is my Vietnamese name. Jasper is my English name. K 
take always look cool isn't it like you can choose your own picture here upload your photo yep and you don't have to use uh, Photoshop for this one right and you also choose a uh, layout for your CV like uh, the one this one is, I like the most because it have enough uh, fields for me to fulfill my uh, information like uh, for those uh, who don't have really much information you guys can pick this one and uh, yeah I pick this one and it look good to me and then yeah here is it and you also can choose uh, your color like this one this one this one and also your phone for that cool so and at final at the end of the day you you will finish with your CV and you will see the template and what you do is just download it down yeah just that simple right it look good isn't it you don't have to spend a lot of time for that Cool. and after that like what you have to do is apply for the job here set that your resume and fulfill your contact detail and then like uh, make sure that you fulfill all the required field here and after that just next and one important thing that I suggest you guys to do is write a Im like impressive cover letter for that. Like uh, I spent hours for writing this, and I think it's uh, it worked. It, you know, like we spend time, like we uh, invest my time in the application so that it will pay up. So like yeah, so uh, in the cover letter, you guys should tell like. Uh, who you are, why you choose Google, and why you are the best fit for Google. So like uh, the and the result after like I invest my time in the uh, application is that like you know I submit my CV at uh, twelve a.m. like uh, really late for the night, and like when I go to sleep, and then I uh, get up and I turn off my phone, and I saw the email from. Google recruiter like because the the CV look really cool and beside that like I also have some experience that really fit for the position that I am looking for and then they also uh, look for the people like me so like they just contact to ask me like uh, where is the suitable time for me to make a an interview so like uh, let's do it and then I know that you guys can also do it and yeah and after this uh, I think like what you guys need to do is prepare for your interview and the thing I would like to recommend is that like you guys should read uh, like a lot a lot of information on the internet because I spent hours on the internet to search uh, how to be prepare really well for Google interview and I come up with some solution as well as uh, some books that you guys might want to read and for me like especially for software engineer I have some recommendation for you um, the first recommendation is the this book is called cracking the coding interview dot yeah is here this book is really really good for software engineer uh, especially in kind of interview for Google or Microsoft or Amazon or Yahoo or Facebook like uh, they all is similar they, they all have the same format of interviewing and yeah and you guys should read this book and for practicing I would love to introduce you guys to Hacker Run. I really love this site. What you guys need to do is re register an account here and then 
go to tutorial and pick your own course here I have login already I also enrolled my account into the course it's called cracking coding interview here cool it's really cool you know like uh, we have changed to review our knowledge in algorithms and data structure that we may forget you know, like uh, here we also have some uh, videos that the author of the Kraken coding interview book also make for us and it's really have our like uh, for data structure we have array we have string we have hash table yeah remember hash table the first and link list and stack and queue tree also remind remember to review binary tree because it's really really important also if and tries and for algorithm sorting algorithm searching algorithm and review about time complexity big O notation and how to solve problem using recursion and dynamic programming and last one a bit manipulation uh, I don't think this one is really important in interview because I haven't uh, seen any a lot actually I haven't seen a lot of interviewee they they tell me that uh, they got some problem with a uh, bit manipulation here but focus on uh, dynamic programming and remember to analyze the time complexity of every solution you have made like you know in coding interview uh, challenge you will have to like spend time to analyze the problem to understand really really well the problem before writing any code because you don't have a lot of change to write your code right so like uh, what I would like to recommend is you know like uh, I also research from some really cool stuff here it's called the algorithm is I can bust so like for any problem you guys have to face remember this first you have to ask for constraint for example if I tell you guys sort an array write an algorithm to sort an array you guys should ask me what is the element of that array what is the maximum what is the minimum and either like a specific cases for like for for this solution and and then you and then you you know really well the problem so that you can generate the idea you came up with the idea you have to analyze the time complexity like a bit o n or bit o n square or maybe big o n log n or something like that and besides that you also have to analyze the space complexity you know some some cases like you have to trace up uh, between time complexity and space complexity like some machine they don't have really much space in memory and some machine they have a lot so the thing is that what is your like what is your option the best option for you to choose to run that algorithm so like you you guys should tell the interviewer about that because they will really really appreciate your analyze it so cool after generate your idea like uh, think about brute force solution first and after that like uh, reduce the the complexity of that solution and then come up with the optimal solution and then after getting it done with the interviewer like you say like this is my best solution so far do you have any recommendation and the interviewer said it's good to go so like let's do some code and here you write some code and be careful with every line of code you write because they will like uh, notice that you 
have like well coding scale on up here and after that you will like uh, give them some test case remember don't submit your code too soon because you have to take take for that they will like like the people who really really be like be careful with um, the system like uh, they don't want to fix the bug if the, the algorithm is not work you know it's not working and then give some example here and run with the algorithm you write in the code remember write check it with the code don't check it with the idea you make here and if your code working well so submit it and here we go you know like uh, I also have some uh, resources that might have out that is uh, the common complexity of some algorithms that I downloaded from high intent and some common constraint question that we should ask for the interview like uh, how many elements can be in the stray that exactly what I told you yeah and after that like do your practice it you know practice make perfect and I think you guys are ready for the interview so let me know if it works for you and see you guys good luck